Hello my friends, today's video is the 3-in-1 Dolphin and Turtle. So it's a cute little set and uh, I'm really excited to kind of build this one. I At first I was like, ah, oh, why did I get this? But then I re was remembering lots of great colors, cute little builds. Uh, so I'll definitely, t this one I'm kind of building this, uh, I don't know, it's like a dory like fish uh, to start. Then there's a seahorse and then dolphin and turtle. It only has 137 pieces, uh, set number 31128, so it should be fairly easy. So uh, let's get opening. This is a fresh one. I think the set was only, I think, uh, 15 bucks maybe. Uh, something along those lines, so it was definitely not an expensive set. So coming in the box, it looks like you get all three instructions right out of the gate. There we go. There's the dolphin and turtle. Uh, they don't name it. Why don't they name it? Uh, fish. Fish thing. Uh, and then the seahorse. Uh, which is pretty neat and most of this this is going to be a solid one from get for getting different parts so i'm going to go ahead and start building the the fish comes with two different bags so here's your amsr for the night a little crinkle opening of a, a fresh lego bag there you go small pieces right here and uh We'll throw that away. And then the, the larger pieces. I just like the concept of these like sea creature type builds. Um, I probably should be focusing my spend and, and focus on Star Wars. But sometimes, you know, I don't just do Star Wars. I really like the Creator 3-in-1 series, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of great builds. Um, dragons, the lions, the tigers, everything. Oh my. All right, so let's get building here as we go. We've had a, such a good, this has been a really big week for Creator 3-in-1. I finally did the Majestic Tiger 3-in-1 or the affectionately known as the Butthole Tiger. So it looks like in this set, they're kind of starting you off with the base okay so this is kind of meant as like a seafloor base essentially so that's kind of cute to start and the great part is i can use these tan parts like these tan parts are definitely 100 percent useful um and really all these parts are it could be useful in different capacities right i want to also do some habitats and things like that so you really can't have enough of these types of uh, parts so very exciting very exciting here we go oh wow they throw the crab on here right away that's kind of cute oh and this is really unique I don't think I have this part in my collection so that's interesting that'll be really good um, kind of like a dome Domey thing. Wow. Because it gives gives off that rounded. And you don't really see that. There's not very many ways to do that. So that's nice. It's already this this set art is uh, solid. <laughs> and then these parts are always great to get. It almost looks like a snail. <laughs> But uh, here we go. All right, and then these, this part right here, pretty neat. Good color. I have a lot of these, and I this color right here, I, I remember I got. It was on the pick a brick wall, so I got a bunch of them. So it's always good. I could, I should create like an alien planet with the Jedi investigating. That would be kind of a fun habitat uh, to build. Man, my fingers are too big. <laughs> Come on. So 
hard to get in here. There it goes. Popped in there. All right, so then the flower. Get one of those on there. Another tan, which is great. Goes here. And then the true flower. Like that, that's pretty neat. Ooh, so you get like a clear stand. That's actually, it's pretty nice that those can be used in that capacity. And now we're starting the fish himself. I'm assuming there'll be a decent amount of leftovers from this. It's a fairly small build compared comparatively um, than the others. Since the other one has two little characters, so they'll probably use a decent amount. Uh, there's always some leftover on these things. All right, cool. So this one will go with here. And get the tail, brown insides here. And then this is kind of the where it starts to give you that brickhead vibe. Oops, and then we gotta go white. White. There we go. And then two two of these puppies. Sometimes it, it makes you wonder on the three in ones because there's other builds, that's why they use certain color schemes or how maybe that's why they used instead of a, a four by like a two by two, they used a, the uh, two one by twos instead, right? So that's pretty neat. It's got to be hard for them to kind of figure all that stuff out. There must be some like base process that they have to uh, to do that. It'd be really neat to kind of figure out how the they figure out the parts allocation. And I've seen there are people on re for rebrickable that sometimes will take sets like these and just make all sorts of different animals in them from them with these colors and that. That's pretty neat that that's out there. Um, like this one, I think, had like 30, 40 combinations. Lots of really cool stuff that you could do with it. So, and just in sometimes there's where you buy, if you purchase uh, a two of something, that that's another another way to uh, make a completely different model based on that too. And that's pretty fun. So there we go. Well, that's pretty neat. Let's create like little little arms, kind of doing that way. Uh, There we go. All right, so here we are. So far, we're heading into the home stretch on this particular, this particular build. Um, okay. And I'll probably I'll do this in um, three parts as well. So there'll be the fish the seahorse and then the finale will be the dolphin and turtle builds so that way we have separation of a video so if you just want to check this out before you actually build and kind of see how it looks or the build process feel free to kind of listen in maybe you're doing some building while uh while listening to the video um or watching i don't know do people watch these kind of videos uh, I don't know. 
So let's see. Um, okay, so oh, this is a really cool color. I don't think I have too many of this style of brick in that this is, uh, I believe, like an aqua color. Pretty neat. Pretty neat little color. And then there needs to be the eyeball on this side. So there we go. Now let's turn it around. Okay, so this must be some sort of a fin that we are creating. Nice getting more of these. I don't really do have a lot of those. <laughs> if I do break this apart, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a lot of these. Okay, so this goes here. Interesting. Now we use this. <laughs> that little overlap makes a makes a mouth. I mean, as much as I kind of was like, Ugh, I almost thought about s selling this set, like letting it retire and then selling it. But there's just so many good parts in this. I just can't let this go. This is a nice ad. This is 100% uh, a, a nice ad in the collection. And let's see. Pretty neat. It's the same thing. It's pretty neat. So here we go so far. Got a decent little personality right from that direction. It's pretty good. So we gotta do a little bit of a, a tail. One. Hmm. It's kind of crazy. A tail thing. Kind of weird looking up close. I mean, it works. Oh, I gotta do the other fins. Oh wow! Look at the the blue on here. Probably really hard to see, but it's a really good, really good color.
Okay, I did this backwards. It's having a hard time kind of following the, the structure. This is, I've never seen anything like this corner piece. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll, I'll definitely show it off in the final product and reviews. That's a really different look. There we go, okay. All right, so now there's even more on top. I always do forget that if you do these, uh, the single, the single that there's always, uh, oh wow, this is, his jaw actually moves, that's kinda, that's really wild. Huh, that's neat. It's so much more complicated than I thought it would be. From a model standpoint. <laughs> doesn't look that complicated but man this is a pretty intense build makes you appreciate some of the bigger builds that are out there and the complexities that our Lego is putting into their designs now just this little guy right here wow and then so there he is his jaw completely moves. That's pretty wild. There's a lot you can do with that and then it's got it set up so you can plop him right on there and now he's just a fish in the sea doing his thing. Just another fish in the sea. There we go. So that's it for the part one of the creator three and one three one one two eight dolphin and turtle this is the uh i don't know like it's not dory it's like one of the fish <laughs> but i feel like it's uh one of the fish from that so thanks for watching be sure to tune in to part two which will be the seahorse coming up next bye for now